Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS S16C Viper video, I'd like to take a look at the data link system of the Viper. Now, this uses a combination of the Link 16 network along with the MIDS radio or multifunction information distribution system. And this provides an excellent way of having situational awareness around your aircraft based on inputs from donor aircraft that are on the same network. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll turn on the MIDS radio by going to the avionics control power panel and switching the MIDS LVT switch from off to on. Now you may also notice we have a data link switch here, but it's actually uh, not uh, used for the MIDS uh, data link. It's actually used for a different data link system that's not operational in the version of the Block 50 Viper that we're modeling. Okay, so now let's take a look at setting up the network. So first we'll go to the ICP and we'll select list and we'll go enter to select the network page. So the first page is our network status, and by default, we'll all be on the same GPS time as it's on. But if we want to, we could dauber down, we could set up a manual time, we can dauber down one more time, and then we have our network time reference, and we'll generally keep that to off. And then we have our sync time, which is uh, generally set to fine, and you can keep that as is. If we go uh, dauber eight, and now we go to our Link 16 uh, radio setup, and here we have our uh, channels for our flight, our mission, and our surveillance. We'll keep those defaulted to one for now to make sure all those are on the same channel. And we keep uh, dobbering down. Then we actually have our uh, call sign, uh, ED in this case, uh, the first and last uh, letter of the call sign, in this case, Enfield. Uh, are we a flight leader or not? Actually, in this case, we will. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that to yes. And we'll have our transmission set to high. And then we dauber one more time, and this actually has the uh, network IDs for the different flight members, and we'll keep this defaulted as on as well. Okay, now let's take a look at actually how we use this. Okay, so let's take a look at this in operation now. So first on the left MPD, we have the SCR page, uh, and we're in track while scan mode with the 30 degree azimuth, and we have a couple of tracks out there. Now on the right, we have the horizontal situation display or the HSD, and this is where the bulk of our data link information will be displayed. Uh, we have some filters. Uh, right now we have FR on, meaning all friendlies are displayed, donors and our flight members. We press it again. Now it's just uh, flight members are displayed, indicated by the uh, blue two here, a wingman two, or we can have all friendlies are off. Let's go back to all friendlies on. And just like the uh, Hornet data link, which also uses MIDs, uh, contacts are color coded and shape coded. A red uh, contact is friend, uh, hostile, as well as the shape being triangle, whereas a friendly will be green and a circle. Now, also like the MIDs and the Hornet, uh, targets can be correlated or uncorrelated. Now, a correlated target means that more than one aircraft or donor or yourself are seeing that target, in which case the symbol will be solid. If it's uncorrelated, it means that only one aircraft in the network is seeing it. And that's indicated by a hollow symbol, which we can see here. In this case, only the AWACS is seeing this uh, hostile uh, here at the top. Now also we have uh, donor symbols. Uh, a donor uh, symbol is down here with the dot in the middle. And right now it's not being correlated whereas uh, the one up here for a second ago actually it was correlated, uh, also indicated by the dot, so right now it's still uh, uncorrelated. Uh, and here is actually a case of a correlated uh, donor up here now. Now a cool thing we can do is now here on the uh, SCR, if we move the scan off these two contacts up here, the data link essentially takes over and will continue displaying those contacts and those both come up as hostile. But once they're within our scan again, they come back as uh, search targets, then they'll transfer over to track targets, and if we wish, we can go to a system target as well. And actually, while we're talking about the radar, uh, something else you can do is you can put uh, the cursor over target and hit the expand button on your control stick and get a zoomed in view of that location, which is kind of handy for breaking out targets in a tight formation. Uh, finally, we go ahead and we'll go ahead and bug this target. And we do that here on the HSD now, we see a blue dashed line from our symbol 
to the contact, meaning that's where our radar is locked. And the same thing also happens with aircraft in our flight. So if uh, aircraft two in our flight was locked to a different target, you see a dash blue line from him or her to that target. So it's a pretty uh, handy way of sorting targets uh, using the data link. So that's a little overview of the data link. I hope you're going to enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.